Hi, I'm Angie C, and this is A Hug in a Better Place. The book today is You Were Here by Corey McCarthy. This was a very sentimental book. It was really relatable because the baseline of everything was a struggle with loss, and I think that's one of the universal feelings that we go through in life. And it was a great story that you can go into and feel like you're part of. Like, I felt like while I was reading this, I was with these characters and doing these things that they were doing and kind of joining them on their journey. And because it it's set up with a group of friends and it's friends that they didn't really ask for and they just ended up together and it it just slowly things work out and they all have histories and they all have different characteristics about them and I think one of the greatest things about this book is that every character kind of owns their personality and owns their characteristics and it's they're very unique and awesome <laughs> and that makes everyone in this book have this kind of fearlessness about them despite them struggling and I, I definitely attribute all of that to the author's ability to convey these characters voices and these characters and just bring these characters to life pretty much so it it was a great adventure story it was a great journey and at the end it was kind of everyone's discovery of what closure whatever they were looking for so it just ended with a sense of contentness and that that's kind of sometimes all you're looking for after battling loss and really struggling through whatever it is that you were facing head on and the one thing that I personally this is a totally personal thing that wasn't really for me is that because I'm a really picky person when it comes to mixed mediums in a novel or what I expect to be a novel. So there's one character who doesn't really talk. Like that's one of his characters is he doesn't, he's selective about speaking. So all of the chapters that he was in there that was coming from his narrative standpoint was done in comic strips and they were well done and you still got it and everything fit it just personally it jarred me and I personally don't really like that like I felt like that I just said like way too many times in that sentence <laughs> I felt that it took away from the story for me because I was deciphering almost and I mean if you enjoy comics then it would be awesome because they're no doubt well done and it fits it as I said it makes sense because this is one of those novels that are written in the alternating narrative voice so every chapter starts off with the titles essentially the person whose viewpoint you're getting for the chapter and so it all ends up fitting together and it's just it's one of those books that are different from I mean a lot of books are different than what I go through and what everyone's normal day is but this one kind of for me without being a fantasy or a dystopia type deal it still took you to another place and took you on this journey that I personally don't think a lot of us end up 
really getting to go that far into and take all these risks and do all these things. And so this book was great. It was it was an escape. It was a at times you're sitting there relating to it and as I said from the very beginning, it's a sentimental piece. And it was wonderful. So I do recommend this. And that's all I have to say about that. Thank you for listening to another episode of A Hug in a Better Place. And I will talk to you next time. Bye now.